Greetings my fellow Emerald Hunters, it is I, Retroyuki, once again, giving you guys a tutorial for today, March 6, 2022, and welcome to the tutorial for Melon DS. And as you guys can see here, we have the Nintendo DS ice screen for you guys, for today's tutorial. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to set this up for your Melon DS emulator. Now, there's a little bit of a difference between the DS and the Nintendo DSi. And as you guys can see here, we have the classic Nintendo DSi menu screen when you boot up your system. Now, this one comes with some games already in play. So you might be able to see this on my streams um, later on. But I do want to show you guys how to set this up. We're going to go over settings and all that cool stuff later on. But as you guys can see, I have new Super Mario Brothers for the DS already installed kind of it's a ROM but let's go over how to set this up so let's go to the internet so some somewhere in my I'm gonna call it research I found this video by ABE Duplang and if I'm saying that wrong I apologize but one of the links he has is the links for MDS Filmware USA you are going to need this for a few reasons and I'm going to show you how this looks like so I already have the direct link to that in the description below if you guys want to download right away it's going to look like this Google Drive can't scan this file for viruses and that's unfortunate but it's okay because it's download anyway so you're going to get to this folder right here the MDS Firmware USA by ABE Duplang and I did download it twice for some reason and it's going to look like this so as you guys can see here we have a Melon DS folder BIOS and it has two versions the DS and the DSi for today's tutorial we want the DSi now as you guys can see here we have some files here for you guys to play with please remember to put your files somewhere you can get them right away because we're going to need them for melon ds so now that you have your files let's go back to melon ds let me go ahead and reset i mean turn this off i'm going to turn this off i mean stop the emulation so you go to config EMU settings When you get here you want to do a few things first thing For general go to console type and today we're going to select the DSI experimental and I want you to uncheck boot game directly and I'll explain why in just a moment Go to DSI mode And you could be able to see this now remember that for the first setup this will be blank but remember the folder I told you to put somewhere safe? This is where it comes into play. You're looking for the DSi ARM 9, 7, Firmware, and RAN. And if you have an SD card file there, that SD card is over there too. So once, once, you, once you get this, you go to Browse for the 9. Go to that folder that I showed you a little bit ago. I put it on my desktop. Go to Melon DS, BIOS, DSi, and we're looking for 9. So we're going to go to BIOS9.bin. All of these files are BIN. And there you go. And you do the same thing for the rest, including firmware and NRAND. If you have the DSi card, SD card file selected, select this box and make check mark and put in the n bank the nran bank bak is what i'm supposed to say okay so i have in my desktop melon ds bios dsi and n a nran bank that bin press ok now now in the DS mode, normally you can just load up the ROM. So you go to File, Open ROM, and you get to get to whatever games you have. 
And by the way, I get my ROMs on vim.net, and I'll put that in the description below as well. But let me explain why this is a little bit different. So let's go back to the config emulator set settings, DS mode. Now I'm going to select boot game directly. Press OK, press File, Open, and I'm going to select Dragon Quest 9 just for example. As you guys can see, it actually loads up directly from the game, from the file. And I can play as normal. I can play this like normal. So I press start or click start. And then create a new adventure log and go on with your merry way. Except for some reason my character likes to um, dance around. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but okay. Anyway, I'm going to stop that for now. Now what I'm going to show you though is file, we're going to go back to emulated settings, DS, and we're going to select DSi mode. But if you select boot game directly though, and we try this out for the same game, as you guys can see you're going to get a white screen. Unfortunately, the DSi has a different system, if you will, on getting this up. So that's why you do not boot game directly. So we go back to config, EMU settings, general boot game directly, uncheck that if you're doing DSi mode. Press OK, press OK. And as you guys can see, we're back to the menu and the game that you selected will be here. So let's say you want to do a different game, go to open ROM. Let's play some, uh, let's say, Mario Kart. And the game changes for you right there. Now, unfortunately, I do not think you can modify the games already in play. And actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to show you guys these games later on. Okay, let's say Pokemon. Let's open... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Now, for some reason, some games work, some games do not. And I do not control that. So press start or press A if you're on the, or press circle. I mean, press the buttons you have for your, for your, um, inputs. Our next tutorial will focus on more of the emulator settings now. So as you guys can see, I'm playing some Pokemon. Now, some games will work, some games will not. For some reason, the menu screen is actually missing. As you guys can see. For some reason, my menu screen is missing. So you normally see new game or I believe some options for Mystery Dungeon. So if we play, uh, let's say, let's play New Super Mario Brothers. So we play New Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo DSi. I will tell you guys, if you have save files using the DS version, it actually transfers over. So if you do, I have already a world one because I'm playing this on my, on the stream. So, so it will transfer over in a way. Now if you play a new game, then you play a new game. So as you guys can see here, I'm already in world one of new Super Mario Bros. DS. And as you guys can see, the game does work as intended. Now, same games will not work. Unfortunately, it is experimental at this point, so they might be adding more to the future. So I can play like normal. Yay, yay me! I do not, I do not play this game. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I do. And there we go. So as you guys can see, it does work for some games and some games it does not work yet, but that's okay. So that is how you set up your DSi for Melon DS. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But as for now, my fellow Emerald Hunters, it is I, Roger Yuki, saying goodnight. And we'll see you guys on our next tutorial for this. Where we'll talk about settings for the, for the emulator itself, like save states input controller input and all that cool stuff 
see you guys on the next one